Hey guys, it is Scott the Steamroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steamroller free play of the day. As always, we have a little fun digging what we're doing. We'd appreciate it if you just simply give us the thumbs up. That's all we ask for. And we give everybody a chance to do it here. Take out your aggressions on that thumb. Get ready to click. Get ready to smash. Get ready to punch. Here we go. Count it down. Three, two, one. Do it. Do it. There it is. Oh yeah. Punish that. Who's been a bad thumb? All right, guys, thanks as always. If you haven't subscribed already, we'd appreciate it if you consider doing that. Of course, looking for a second opinion, you know where to go, winnersandwiners.com. Deep dives, predictions, and previews into every single game, every single day. And it is always 100% free at winnersandwiners.com. And, of course, we want to know what you're playing today, man. That's the most fun part of this job for me finding out what you guys are on, seeing your success, and loving every minute of it. So put those plays in the comment section. I don't care what sport they're on. What do you got? You got a soccer? You got a you got a basketball, baseball, whatever it is. Put them in there. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, and you could be the capper of the day. All right, guys. Well, quick recap of yesterday. We all learned a, a very difficult lesson again about why I don't handicap hockey. Um, no, I'm just... <clears throat> you know what? Had a bad day in baseball too, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blame hockey. Uh, Montreal Canadiens back backs up were against the backs were up against the wall, and they did what they had to do. Um, so congratulations to the Canadians. Now you only got to win three more. So way to go, guys. Appreciate it. Um, so you know what? We're gonna go back to uh, something we're a little more familiar with. We're gonna go to the NBA. Take a look at the Milwaukee Bucks and the Phoenix Suns. Phoenix minus six at home. As we record this, I expect to see this number climb to six and a half, maybe even seven by game time with Giannis when they announce he's officially out instead of just doubtful, although I think it's mostly baked in. I think it's mainly just going to be Suns money that comes in. Uh, I'm not going to overthink this one at all here, guys. I think even with a healthy Giannis, the Bucks would have their work cut out for him in this series. But without him, uh, against a team that's as good as Phoenix, playing as good a basketball as they are right now, uh, certainly playing as good a basketball as they have been playing all year. Uh, you know what? We've seen the Bucs. Uh, they can still score without uh, Anna DeCampo. The problem is uh, the defense really, really sucks. Uh, they were able to get away with it against the Hawks team that was missing their best player. And, of course, the last game when their best player came back, which was about 40% at best. Uh, but stopping this the Suns team is another thing entirely. Now, without Giannis in the game, the Bucks have one elite defender in Drew Holiday. The problem is, without Giannis, they have one elite defender. And against this Phoenix team, that ain't enough. You're going to have to have multiple stops, and that is going to be difficult from a team that can beat you with Booker or Paul from the outside or just pounded it side to Aiton. I think Brooke Lopez is a fun story. Uh, he is no Giannis on the defensive side. I look for Aiton to have a big game. You want to play team? You want to play over on Aiton's points? Don't hate that. Uh, but the play I like better is just the flat um, Milwaukee, uh, or excuse me, the uh, Phoenix Suns minus the six. We're just gonna play the side, call it good. Give me the Phoenix Suns minus the six points. At the end of this one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, let me go. I'm going to check out a final time, make sure I'm giving you a good number here that it hasn't gone to six and a half yet. Nope, pretty much six across the board. We do have six and a half at Pinnacle. And I think uh, I think um, FanDuel had six and a half as well, but everybody else in my grid pretty much is on six. So we're going to call it six, all right? Um, let's see how you guys did. You know how I did yesterday. Uh, by the way, retro shout out to T-Train. Uh, he went one and zero yesterday on the Padres. I don't know how I missed that, brother. My apologies. You know, I always try to give you your props. Hope you sold a shit ton of lobster rolls yesterday at uh, Ed Beach Pumps. I really do. Um, so he was uh, one to know plus 500 on the pod yesterday. Nice job. Uh, he had a play today that I liked as well, and that did not work out. That was uh, Thomas Bowe. He went one to know plus 100. He had the Red Sox. Uh, Casino went three and two. He got juice, paid a little extra money on the Braves, and they did not. Uh, you well, know, they had a one nothing lead, and that was about it. But your capper of the day, somebody that faded me, was smart enough to fade my hockey pick, uh, said all of Canada was counting on the Canadians to do it, and they did. It's Naker, 6-2-3, our hockey sniper. He goes 1-0, plus 700, as he picked up the Montreal money line at plus 140. Well done, Naker. 
Well done to the rest of you indeed. Congratulations, Naker. You, sir, 1-0 plus 700 are the capper of the day. Nicely done. And yeah, everybody else, hope everybody had a great day. Um, had some fun, got to see some family, all that good stuff. And had a great 5th of July as well. All right. So you guys take care. Good luck on all your plays. Hope every one of those tickets in your pocket turns into cash money when you head back to the window. All right. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.